This is another story about Millie Molly Mandy. Can you remember her long name? It was Millicent Margaret Amanda, but that was quite a mouthful. So they called her Millie Molly Mandy for short. And we've got lots of stories about when Millie Molly Mandy was at school. Now these stories are from quite a long time ago, so school would have been very, very different. But this story used to be one of my favourites because it's what happened when her teacher came to stay with her. I used to wonder what that would be like. So this is called Millie Molly Mandy Gets to Know Teacher. And while we're reading this together, have a think about what it might be like if your teacher came to stay for a visit. Once upon a time, there were changes at Millie Molly Mandy's school. Miss Shepherd, the headmistress, was going away and Miss Edwards, the second teacher, was to be headmistress in her place and live in the teacher's cottage just by the school instead of coming by bus from town every day. Miss Edwards was very strict and taught arithmetic, which is number work, and history and geography and she wore very high collars. Millie Molly Mandy wasn't particularly interested in the change, even though she liked both Miss Shepherd and Miss Edwards quite well. <clears throat> but one afternoon, Miss Edwards gave her a note to give to mother. And the note was to ask if Millie Molly Mandy's mother would be so very good as to let Miss Edwards have a bed at the nice white cottage with a thatched roof for a night or two until Miss Edwards got her new little house straight. Father and mother and grandpa and grandma and uncle and auntie talked it over during supper and they thought they might manage it for a few nights. Millie Molly Mandy was very interested and tried to think what it would be like to have teachers sitting at supper with them and going to sleep in the spare room as well as teaching in school all day. And she couldn't help feeling just a little bit glad that it was only to be for a night or two. Next day, she took a note to school for teacher from mother to say, yes, they would be pleased to have her. And after school, Millie Molly Mandy told little friend Susan and Billy Blunt all about it. And little friend Susan said, oh, won't you have to behave properly? I'm glad she's not coming to us. And Billy Blunt said, <laughs> hard lines. Millie Molly Mandy was quite glad that teacher was only coming to stay for a few nights. Miss Edwards arrived at the nice white cottage with a thatched roof just before supper time the following evening. Millie Molly Mandy was looking out for her. And directly she heard the gate click. She called to mother and ran and opened the front door wide so that the hall lamp could shine down the path. And teacher came in out of the dark just as mother hurried from the kitchen to welcome her. Teacher thanked mother very much for having her and said she felt so dusty and untidy because she had been putting up shelves in her new little cottage ever since school was over. So mother said, come right up to your room, Miss Edwards, and Millie Molly Mandy will bring you a jug of hot water so you can get washed. And I expect you will be glad of some supper straight away. So Millie Molly Mandy ran along to the kitchen for a jug of hot water, thinking how funny it was to hear teacher's familiar voice away from school. She tapped very politely at the half open door of the spare room. She could see teacher tidying her hair in front of the dressing table by the candlelight. And teacher smiled at her as she took the steaming jug and said, That's kind of you, Millie Molly Mandy. That's just what I want most. And what a lovely smell of hot cakes. Millie Molly Mandy smiled back. Though she was a bit surprised that teacher should speak in that pleased, hungry sort of way. It was more the kind of way that she or little friend Susan or father or mother or grandpa or grandma or uncle or auntie might have spoken. When teacher came downstairs to the kitchen, they all sat down to supper. Teacher's place was just opposite Millie Molly Mandy's and every time she caught Millie Molly Mandy's eye, she smiled across at her and Millie Molly Mandy smiled back and tried to remember to sit up for she kept almost expecting teacher to say, 
head up, Millie Molly Mandy. Keep your elbows off the desk. But she never did. They were all a little shy of teacher, just at first. But soon, father and mother and grandpa and grandma and uncle and auntie were talking away and teacher was talking too and laughing. And she looked so different when she was laughing that Millie Molly Mandy found it quite difficult to get on with her bread and milk before it got cold. Teacher enjoyed the hot cakes and wanted to know just how mother had made them. She asked a lot of questions and mother said she would teach teacher how to do it so that she could make them in her own new little kitchen. Millie Molly Mandy thought how funny it would be for teacher to start having lessons. After supper, teacher asked Millie Molly Mandy if she could make little sailor girls. And when Millie Molly Mandy said no, teacher drew a little sailor girl with a sailor collar and sailor hat and pleated skirt on a folded up piece of paper. Then she cut it out with empty scissors. And when she unfolded the paper, there was a row of little sailor girls, all holding hands. Millie Molly Mandy did like it. She thought how funny it was that she should have known teacher all that time and never known that she could draw sailor girls. Then mother said, now Millie Molly Mandy, it is bedtime. So Millie Molly Mandy kissed father and mother and grandpa and grandma and uncle and auntie and went to shake hands with teacher. Millie Molly Mandy felt when she went upstairs that she must get into bed extra quickly and quietly because teacher was in the house. Next morning, Millie Molly Mandy and teacher went to school together. And as soon as they got there, teacher was just her usual self again and told Millie Molly Mandy to sit up or get on with her work as if she had never laughed at supper or cut out little sailor girls or said goodnight. After school, Millie Molly Mandy showed little friend Susan and Billy Blunt the row of little sailor girls. And little friend Susan opened up her eyes and said, Just fancy teacher doing that. And Billy Blunt folded them up carefully in the creases so that he could see how they were made. And then he grinned and gave them back. And little friend Susan and Billy Blunt didn't feel so very sorry for Millie Molly Mandy having teacher to stay then. That evening, teacher came up to the nice white cottage with a thatched, the thatched roof earlier than she did the day before. And when Millie Molly Mandy came into the kitchen from taking a nice meal out to Toby the dog and giving him a good bedtime walk round the yard, what did she see but teacher with one of mother's big aprons on and her sleeves tucked up learning how to make apple turnovers for supper. And mother was saying, always mix the pastry with a light hand. And teacher was looking so interested and didn't seem the least to know that she had a streak of flour down her cheek. When teacher saw Millie Molly Mandy, she said, come along Millie Molly Mandy and have a cooking lesson with me. It's such fun. So Millie Molly Mandy's mother gave her a little piece of dough and she stood by teacher's side, rolling it out and making it into a ball again. But she was much more interested in watching teacher being taught. And teacher did everything she was told and tried so hard that her cheeks got quite pink. So there they are. I think that's, that must be mother and teacher. And there's Millie Molly Mandy coming into the kitchen. Really surprised that teacher's having a lesson. When the turnovers were all made, there was a small piece of dough left on the board. So teacher shaped it into the most beautiful little bird. And the bird and all the turnovers were popped into the oven together with Millie Molly Mandy's piece, which had been a pig and a cat and a teapot, but ended up a little grey loaf. When father and mother and grandpa and grandma and uncle and auntie and teacher and Millie Molly Mandy sat down to supper, Teacher put her finger on her lips to Millie Molly Mandy when the apple turnovers came out so that Millie Molly Mandy shouldn't tell who made them 
until they had been tasted. And teacher watched nervously and presently mother said, how do you like these apple turnovers? And everybody said they were the most delicious. And then Millie Molly Mandy couldn't wait any longer and she called out, teacher made them. And everybody was so surprised. Millie Molly Mandy didn't eat the little grey brown loaf because she didn't quite fancy it, although Toby the dog did. And she felt she couldn't eat the little golden brown bird because it really looked too good to be eaten just yet. So she took it to the school with her next day to share with little friend Susan and Billy Blunt. And little friend Susan said, oh, isn't it pretty? Isn't teacher clever? And Billy Blunt said, fancy teacher playing with dough. And little friend Susan and Billy Blunt didn't feel sorry at all for Molly Molly Mandy having teacher to stay then. The next day was Saturday and teacher's furniture had come and she was busy all day arranging it and getting the curtains and pictures up. And Millie Molly Mandy with little friend Susan and Billy Blunt came in the afternoon to help. And they ran up and down stairs, fetching hammers and nails and holding things and making themselves very useful indeed. And at four o'clock, teacher sent Billy Blunt out to get some cakes from Miss Hubble's shop while the others laid the table in the pretty little sitting room. And they had a nice kind of picnic with Millie Molly Mandy and little friend Susan sharing a cup and Billy Blunt having a saucer for a plate because everything else wasn't unpacked yet. And they all laughed and talked and they were as happy as anything. And when teacher said it was time to send them all off home, Millie Molly Mandy was so sorry to think that teacher wasn't coming to sleep in the spare room anymore that she just wanted to hug teacher without being asked. And she actually did it too. And little friend Susan and Billy Blunt didn't look a bit surprised either. And after that, somehow it didn't seem to matter that teacher was strict in school. For they knew that she was really just a very nice, usual sort of person inside all the time. So that's what happened when Millie Molly Mandy's teacher came to stay. I wonder what your teachers do at home? Mm, I think they're very different than they are in school. I bet they are. See you next time.